Hi, Villanova fans. Welcome to the Wildcat Insider, our in-depth look at Villanova Athletics. I'm Nick Montagna. It's great to have you with us. Today, we're joined by five of our top runners on Villanova's excellent Fall 2020 cross-country team. Today, we're joined by junior Lydia Oliver, sophomore Maggie Smith, along with sophomores Nikki Merrill and Brent Sumner, and graduate student McKenna Keegan. Ladies, thanks for joining us today. Great to see everyone. All right, we're yeah. all around. Got masks, we got everybody in their rooms. Looks like we're all around campus. Great for everybody to be back. That's my first question for you, gang. Uh, Lydia, let's start with you. How does it feel to be back on campus? McKenna, I want to get your feelings after that as well. Lydia, let's start with you. What's it like to be back finally on the main line on campus? Oh, it's it's so nice. Um, I know in the summer, a lot of us were a little bit nervous about what it was going to be like coming back. Obviously, hoping that we still were able to come back and if all of us could be, the, um, could be here, especially our team includes a few international students. So I know for a lot of us, we were really concerned that our whole group would be here. And we are, which is super fun. So I know coming into school, I was super excited to be back. And now that it's um, we're all together. It's been super fun, especially since we, you know, we were gone away from each other training for, you know, five months and then a lot of us go home and train alone. So it was great to come back as a group and just be back together. Yeah, McKenna, you're a veteran of the group. Uh, one last hurrah. I'm guessing it's wonderful to be back in the saddle, huh? Uh, yeah, I was uh, very excited to hear that we will be coming back. I felt really lucky because I know that's not the case for a lot of people. So um, I know that we were all very, very excited after five months to finally be all back together on campus, like being just being able to see each other and just being able to talk to each other in person and stuff. Um, it's really been a blessing that we've all been able to be back together. And I know we were all really excited um, for us all to be together in one place. Yeah, I'm happy for all of our student athletes that everybody can get back on campus and start to get back into more of a rhythm. Bryn, let's hear from you. Tell us what training has been like so far for everyone. What kind of activities have you guys been doing? How much running? How much training have you guys been doing over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, so um, it's been really good so far, kind of different. Um, we have to like go in smaller groups, so we kind of have our own little pod uh, that we run with. And so um, this year, I kind of transitioned to the middle distance group. So I've been doing three workouts a week with McKenna um, and then Amari and Madison. Um, and so that's been really great to just be with them. Um, and then like for long runs, we can kind of meet up together. Um, but we kind of have to stay local to campus, which kind of stinks. Um, so we can't like go to as many of like the places that we ran last year. Um, but it's still just great to like be running with people again, um, even in our smaller groups. So yeah, I'm really thankful that we can just all be together. Yeah, it's great. Everybody's being smart and safe, but getting back to running and getting to interact with your teammates. It's wonderful to hear. The team made the NCAAs last fall, like always, and it was the youngest team in the field and still a lot of success as always. Nikki, I want to get your thoughts and knowing what it's like for this program that can reload so quickly after graduating so many good runners and it's just a consistent program year after year, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely a great team environment to come into. We had a lot of great leaders last year, like McKenna and Lydia, who kind of just showed us the ropes and it was really exciting to come in as a freshman and get that opportunity to compete at the highest level that the NCAA offers. So I'm really grateful that we got that opportunity as a young team and yeah, I'm just really thankful for that experience. Nikki, what was the NCAAs, what were they like last year to describe the environment and the weather and the fans and the race day experience for us? Yeah, I remember there were just, there was just so much great competition and so many teams. I had watched it the year before and I'd seen like Wayne Claudie and some other athletes and then I was like actually in the race with them and <laughs> it was just really exciting to be in that, that moment and um, the course was pretty muddy um, and tough course but it was a lot of fun and a great experience. 
Yeah, bring the spare spikes definitely on those muddy courses, that's for sure. Uh, head coach Gino Procaccio has built a powerhouse. Uh, we all know that, two national titles. Maggie, her development of all the runners through the years and the way kids get better and better, they come in with a pedigree and everybody is just so dominant, it seems, year after year. What does it say about her coaching style and how has she impacted your career? Oh, immensely. Um, she's an incredible coach and she kind of really um, focuses on each athlete as their own and plays to their strengths and their weaknesses and would never do anything that um, we are unprepared to do. We always feel ready and when we get on that start line, we know like we're a team unit and we can just show up and do what we've been practicing to do the whole time and um, hopefully that's what we do most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Lydia, you had quite the calendar year with Team USA in the summer and then a standout season in the fall, All-American across country, and then killed it in indoor. What was the last year like for you, uh, traveling, getting to compete at such a, a high-end events? It must have been uh, real exciting for you, huh? Yeah, thank you so much. No, it was a really, really great experience. Um, everything I was able to get to compete in um i think it just was if i could describe it i think it was just a great developmental year um i feel like coming into school as a, as a freshman you know you get thrown a lot at once so it's you know hard to kind of adjust everything so i feel like by the end of spring you know you have really had that base of finally knowing what like the team training is going to be like you know you've gone through the whole year so I think having that new base and launch pad going into sophomore year was super super helpful and beneficial so I and being able to train with the team and have like NCAA competition um, exposure and all that I think that helped going into the summer um, with competitions but yeah I think it just was a great learning experience and I it just really helped with the sophomore season, which was great. I'm really, really grateful that I got to compete in all those different races. Yeah, and in terms of the collegiate experience, just like we heard with getting to the NCAAs, uh, tell us what the competition is really like and whether it be the weather and you know the muddy turf or just the runners you're competing against or you're competing against yourself. Can you tell us all what that race day experience really is like, especially for yourself? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think college racing is different. It's definitely just more, I don't know, I think sometimes with high school racing, it's just kind of can go out and it doesn't really change very much. So I think um, like in terms of collegiate running, it's definitely a little bit more strategic and it can maybe sometimes go out a little bit slower and then it kind of turns into a race in like the that um, back half of the race. So I feel like that's definitely different in learning the different racing styles. So I think it's just kind of being a little bit more alert and just like really trying to put yourself in the race in the in the pack of runners and that can really be a game changer, I think. Yeah, strategy, right? Always makes sense to me. <laughs> uh, McKenna, you've done it all, three-time All-American, you've killed it, indoor pen relays. What stands out for you as your best memories as a Villanova runner so far? Oh, wow, that's a tough question. Um, <laughs> there's been, I mean, I came back for a fifth year, so I obviously loved it for my first four years. So there's been so many great memories um, with so many different people and with this team. Um, I've always loved pen relays. That's just probably one of my, if not my favorite weekend um, of the year. Um, there's just something so special about wearing the Villanova jersey um, that weekend. Um, but uh, this cross country, this past cross country season was a lot of fun too. It was my first cross season, but the group of people was just so special um, and what we accomplished was so special. So that was also definitely um, one of my favorite memories. So yeah, pen relays and probably the past cross country season would be my uh, two of my favorites. Can't go wrong with the pen relay. That's no, always the, the best choice by far. Uh, lots of family connections. Uh, McKenna, your mom played soccer at Nova. Bryn, you had a fabulous freshman season, indoor cross country. And your mom and dad ran at Villanova. Your mom's a Hall of Famer, got inducted back in 2013. Bryn, how did your parents impact your running career? And what can you do this year to take your running to the next level, do you think? 
Yeah. Oh my gosh, my parents have just been so great. Um, they're just such a great support system, and they've never like they never pushed me to um like be a runner. Um, so I did gymnastics for ten years before I ran, and so they just have been supportive like through everything I've done. Um, but they're always there for like advice and just to like keep me going. Um, and so yeah, I definitely like just love Villanova from hearing all of their stories um, like before I came and then like when I got here it's just been so great to like see how like Villanova impacted them and like how now it's impacting me um so yeah so that's been really great and then this year I just really hope to keep working on my speed and just take this time that we're not competing to like focus on the little things and to like get a good base in so that next track season I can really focus on um, just like competing well and for the team. So yeah, I'm just really excited. That's great to hear. Uh, we heard a little bit so far about what it's like getting back to campus. Nikki, tell us what it's like uh, resuming life as a college kid, uh, just with social interactions and seeing your friends when you're not interacting with your teammates, when you're eating meals and you see general kids off campus in terms of being safe and when you have to wear the mask and when it's okay to talk to people. Give us uh, an idea of what it's like being back actually on campus as a college student in 2020. Yeah, it's been a change of pace since living at home. I was by myself a lot when I was back in Rhode Island and now there's people all around, which is really nice, but it's just kind of like a new normal. So like you said, there's a lot of new rules. Um, you have to like wear your mask and try to be socially distanced as much as possible and there's like a lot of new like just weird things that you have to think about like in my dorm the other day I was like getting into the elevator and then somebody else is at the elevator but um, they wanted to like wait till I went up just so that we could be socially distant so it's just like being aware of things like that like things I would never really think about before and now you just have to be like really careful and make the best decisions. Yep, one wildcat helping another. That's what it should be about every single day. <laughs> uh, Maggie, all biggies last fall in cross country, Canada, U20s, uh, quite a career so far for you. I just want to get your thoughts on uh, what do you think it's like that Villanova and Coach Gina can recruit all over the world? We have Philly kids, we have kids all over the USA, uh, Sheila Reed from Canada, you're from Canada, kids from Europe. The Villanova track across country spans the entire globe, doesn't it? Yes, and I think it says a lot about the reputation of Gina and the school in general, just how great of an academic school and athletic school it is and kind of understanding that when you're coming here, you can have it all and um, you're going to get that environment that you've been looking for. And um, for me, it was just about um, finding a place in a community, but also like getting to be a part of the NCAA experience and the difference in the environment from here in Canada. But I mean, the fact that like one of our teammates who was on the team as well, Anna, she's from Denmark and we have people from all over. So it really just says a lot about um, Villanova and what you can be a part of if you come here. And it's just been amazing. Just getting to see student athletes on campus it makes me very excited that all of our athletic activities and sports are right around the corner, we feel. So baby steps, and this is a lot of fun to chat with you guys. So I want to thank you for your time. Uh, great to see everyone, and best of luck this season. Thank you very much. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Our cross country and track runners at Villanova Fall 2020 style, Maggie Smith, Bryn Sumner, Nikki Merrill, Lydia Oliver, and McKenna Keegan. Thanks, ladies, for joining us. And thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm Nick Montagna, and we'll see you next time. So long, everyone.